Hey, what up? Six Savvy here. Wanted to do a little video um, on this keyboard here, a little basically a gadget. It's called a OTG cable. It stands for on the go. Your phone does have to support it. What well, it does, as you can see, that is not a normal USB. It's actually a female. So what you can do, first you have to, your phone has to support OTG and you can do that by just looking up your model number and then does it, you know, putting in the words, does it support OTG? But what you do is plug it in to where your charging port is. And these cables are probably a little, little under $5 on Amazon. And what they do is gives it support for anything that is USB. So that is my mouse receiver, my wireless mouse. And I was gonna get the camera from, as you can see, go through, you can also use a um, wireless keyboard. And then also, as you can see, I have a USB um, stick sitting there. Cool thing about that is you can also unplug this. What you can do is this is a 16 gigabyte. Um, I'm sure there is a maximum amount, but plug that in. And it says right there, USB drive. And like I said, 16 gigs, there's nothing on it. I do have a 32 gig SD card in here, so as you can see, 60 gigabytes. Click on that, and there it is. USB drive, 14.90 gigabytes. So, thought this would be just a cool little share. Again, anything that is you know, basically USB, an input device, such as a keyboard and mouse, USB drives, you know, external storage, etc. You can uh, use with these, you just gotta make sure your phone supports it. And again, best way to do that is just go into your settings on your phone, go to about phone, and for instance, mine is an LG Artisto, so I can just look up the name. Yours may not say the name, it just may say the model number. So you have to go in here, and hardware info, so model number. So I, for instance, if I were to look this up, I would, I would Google, does the LG MS210 support OTG? And that will give you a, uh, you know, good answer. I have tried using the apps that, you know, you download them and then you hook the cable up. And it essentially just tells you whether it's, you know, your phone's capable or not. But I've had, you know, the apps flat out tell me it, it won't work when obviously it is working. So... I'd say it's better off just look it up. But again, thought I would share. Hope you guys have a good one. Take it easy. Peace.